Hi everyone, Eitan is here. Thank you for joining us today for another video of the 3D Printing Experts. Our channel is powered by Printist. Printist is a software that eliminates the complexities of 3D printing. With Printist, you, all you need to do is to upload your model and then Printist will give you the best printing parameters for your model and in the end of the process a ready to print file. So the next step on our 3D printing journey is to learn the terms of this technology. 3D printing can be overwhelming, so today we will break it down and learn the basics terminology. So let's get started. Let's first talk about FDM printing. FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. It might not be the buzzword that first comes to your mind when thinking of 3D printing, but if you are considering owning a printer or work in a fab lab, this common printer is what you will most likely be using. In short, FDM printing is where most beginners start. To explain what an FDM printer is and how it works, I'm going to use an Ultimaker Extended 2. This is not the cheapest printer, but it will give you a very good overview of how this technology works. So let's get started with some basic terms to better understand this printer. The first term is the 3D printer axis. Since we are printing in three dimensions, it is only makes sense that the printer moves in three directions, X, Y and Z. The X and Y dimensions are created by the right and the left movements of the axis. Height or dimension Z is created by a motor that lifts the model up and down. Next is the build plate. This is the place that our model will print on and is the part of the printer that moves up and down to create height, like we just discussed. Under the build plate we have the bed. In Ultimaker there is a heated bed that uses for a lot of things that we will talk more in depth in our next videos. Then there is the filament. Filament is the material that we will use to print. There are many types of filament, such as ABS or PLA. These are the most common, but there are other types, such as flexible filament or wood filament. A funny story, PLA is made from sugarcane and corn. Now, we look at how the filament is manipulated and how the model comes to life. The filament is fed by the extruder, a motor that puts a pressure on the filament and push and guide it through this process. Next, the filament goes into the hot end. A funny name in the printer, right? But it is very important to the process because it eats up the filament enough to manipulate it to the model shape. Then, the heated filament is pushed through the nozzle. This is where the filament comes out after being heated and can be drastically varied in size. The smaller the nozzle, the more detailed the model. But it will take more time since a very small amount of filament is being deposited in each layer. So let's summarize what we know so far. First, FDM is where most beginners start their 3D printing journey. Second, the axes created the X, Y and Z dimensions. Third, the build plate holds the model and sit on the top of the bed which can be heated. Fourth, the two most common filaments are PLA and ABS. Fifth, filament is fed by the extruder into the hot end and is pushed through the nozzle. So this is it so far. In the next video we will talk about more terms and talk more in depth about those terms. If you didn't subscribe yet to our channel, this is the time so you don't miss any video of the 3D printing experts. See you next time.